Hi everybody, how are you today? It's really a scorcher in Holland. It is a roughly going to be 35 centigrade today here. It feels like if you're in Spain. Look what I've got for you, an other surprise. Um, and this is Lenaman Cartomancy by Christopher Butler. So let's have a look. I'm really excited because you know if you follow me that um, I love Lenaman. And Cartomancy is also a way of Lenaman. It's actually uh, reading the normal play cards. And they've combined it. And you know I love that. Because you get more answers in one card. So this is from Shiver Red Feather and it's Christopher Butler. And um, uh, let's have a look. It costs $39.99. That's what it says on the sticker. And this is what the box looks like from the back. Walk in the footsteps of the of history's most infamous fortune tellers, Marie Anne, and I always have thought that she was Louise Marie Lenormand, uh, was the great, but it, she is Marie Anne Lenormand, was the greatest celebrity fortune teller of the Napoleonic time or era. Among her famous consultants were Francis Lady Shelley and Robert Spierre. Um, and the Empress Josephine, with whom she formed a long, a lifelong bond of friendship. Since the mid-nineteenth century, the en enigmatic fortune-telling deck contained in this box has been associated with her secret techniques of cartomancy and fortune-telling. Discover for yourself this long reverent tradition through the comprehensive guidebook and the traditional Lenormand deck, freshly re-illustrated for the modern age. You will be guided on a card-by-card -card journey, and when you've finished, you'll have the skills to perform a reading both simple and complex. Take uh, your cards and, in the words of the great lady herself, Coupe. The spell cast by the Sibyl of the Salons has never been stronger. Okay, Coupe means cuts. So I don't know what they mean by that. In the words of the great lady herself, Coupe. <coughs> well, let's have a look. It's got a little yellow ribbon to open it up with, and I did it wrongly. <laughs> that is the, uh, let's have a look, that is the bottom of the book and this is the cover of the book and that is what it looks like. Okay, I suppose that is Mr. Butler and boom, all my stones, Metatron, Michael, oh, 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 oh. right, sorry. Christopher Butler is an author, artist, and tarot reader. From northwest of England, he discovered the tarot at the age of 13. Through watching a James Bond movie, his fascination for the cards has stayed with him for over 30 years, inspiring him to create several decks of his, um, of his own along the way. Chris re received his first professional commission at the age of 17 when Space Voyager magazine hired him to illustrate three interviews with cast members from the cult since fiction series Doctor Who. His first published tarot deck was the Quantum Tarot, created in conjunction with the author, author K. Stopforth. A new version of this deck, Quantum Tarot, two point O, is uh, published by the Los Carbo or Los Carbo for Shiver's books. Chris was auth authored, illustrated, the Sun Tarot, m uh, Mysticism, Meditation, and the Divine for Gay Men, published in 2012. Chris holds a Bachelor of Divinity. 
degree from Haythorpe College at University of London. He continues to, continues to work <coughs> excuse me, as an artist, but not now works as a professional tarot reader as well. He lives in Liverpool, UK. For more information, visit Christopher's art web at www.butlerart.co.uk and his Tarot Lenormon reading website at www.tarotinliverpool.com. Okay, well, or I don't have to rewrite all that if I read it. Now this is how it's uh, a thin book, and it's it's got mystic eyes. I think it should represent Miss um, um, Lenemann, Marie and Marie Lenemann, and it is in black and white. When we open up the book, you have the black and white photo dedication, who the publishers are, then you have acknowledgments and contents, um, you've got all the cards here, and then you've got the card reading, significators and charged cards, more on combination and uh, associations, reading with three, reading with five, reading with seven cards, nine, and the grand tableau. Additional tips. Enhancing your reading with playing cards, card inserts, yes or no inquiries, more on reading with frames, and relationship readings. The final word and the bibliography. To uh, a visit to Madame, L uh, Madame Lenormand. Lenormand. A visit to Madame Lenormand, um, as recounted by R. H. Grono, captain of the Grenadier Guards and member of Parliament for Stafford, taken from his book *Celebrities of London and Paris*, London Smith, Elder and Co., 1865. Okay, so it goes on about. Um, the most extraordinary people of my younger days and celebrated fortune teller Mademoiselle Le Normand. Her original residence was in Rue de la Tournon, but at the time of which I write, she lived in the Route de la Pierre uh, during the res uh, restoration and the practice of the black art was restored was strictly forbidden by the police and it was almost like entering a besieged citadel to make one's way into her sanctum sanctuor sanctorum I don't know that's Latin it just gives you the history and also what she did she was also in, in incarcerated and uh, n um, Napoleon's wife, I think that was uh, Sophie Louise, um, Sophie, um, she got her out and she became the advisor of uh, um, Napoleon about a lady and her cards. Then it's using this guide, introducing the deck. Uh, I'll leave that for you to read. I'm going to read that later because I do like to know the background of the cards and here we start with the rider card number one nine of hearts so you get the uh, cartomancy number the nine of hearts that is the ordinary play deck then you get the rider and then you get the sort of um, uh, uh, trademark words or little words I came bearing tidings uh, of in importance import so that is what I'll just show you perhaps you can see it a little bit better like that and then you go to the symbolism symbolism as a person as a time frame so you can get time frames with the Lenormand uh, and that will go into it I don't like doing time frames 
because I believe time is man-made okay but it will give you an indication so I'll just do one example symbolism this very first card is the sequence is almost like a symbol for the deck itself we see a man in the top hat riding a horse uh, at gallop the air is filled with garlands and many colors a rainbow butterfly hovers above and we can see the postmark from the postcard we'll get there because I'm going to open them up in a minute from the postcard let's have a look this is a card of significant news and the rider is its bearer the image can signify unforeseen ev uh, events and new directions but equally it can significantly signify sudden forward movements in situations that have lain dormant for a long time it's a positive if not always comfortable card change can bring happiness but it can also bring sadness and loss often we struggle to adapt to the uh, pace of change in our lives despite these drawbacks the rider riders influence remains a force for good and is also a symbol of truth and the truth uh, and the truth once out in the open is always easier to deal with than with its hidden as a person the rider personifies a physical physically slim or athletic fit whether a man or a woman they have vitality energy alternus the rider is a kind of person who sweeps into a given situation like a breath of fresh air turning things round and refreshing stagnant situations as a time frame this card indicates immediate immediacy when estimated a time scale in your reading maybe <coughs> the unexpected is about to happen or resolution you expected is near then nearer than you think events will move forward as swiftly as the riders steed very often the surrounding cards will add to clarity of the picture the cards number is one indicating something coming to pass within an hour a day a week or a month or a year it could also indicate a single season or a cycle such as that of a moon the number one additionally indicates January the first month of the year the first day the first month or Monday the first day of the week and then it goes into combinations right so I'm just going to flip through the pages uh, so you can see this is the clover good luck the boat abundance <coughs> the house the tree and so on so you've got the Lenaman the number of Lenaman and then you've got the cartomancy like the king of hearts or the king of spades and I don't see well we'll see when we get the cards out I'm going to do it in a minute but this goes all the way and it's not an extended deck I think let's have a look no it's not an extended deck it's the deck the standard deck for Lenormand in is 36 okay and then it goes into uh, significant uh, significant significators sorry and charge cards more on combinations so this is on charge cards then we have the reading with three cards uh, with the five cards then we have the reading with seven and nine and for those that don't know what grand tableau is that's the full pack 
and it is easier if you're a beginner to get one of these great big cardboard sheets and then put all the houses out and so you like this and then you can put um, the cards on the um, the cards that are lying in a row this is the grand tableau and other people do it with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 8 times 4 and then the 4 remaining underneath and there is a difference between the grand tableau this is the one that I know that's the old-fashioned one this is the more modern one I didn't know that existed until about a couple of years ago and then you've got the yes and no and how to do that more on reading time frames and that's it and then we have a relationship reading uh, how to do it and a final word and the by uh, by the bio uh, by bio bibliography I think that's always a different word it's a tongue twister <laughs> it's like the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane and you have to go and say it faster and faster yeah, yeah. well anyway that's a beautiful book it is uh, paperback or cardboard and um, it's black as you can see so it has got that sort of mysterious feeling to it now we're going to open the pack uh, they are more or less the same size or the standard size of Lenormand I even believe they are smaller so this is um, the uh, size of uh, the Lenormand from Giro Manchetti that is well known as you can see and these are the Lenormand's usual size so these are even smaller so that is just for size so let's get on with the rest and there's a plastic little thing like that to keep them together um, then it has an introduction card the Sun Tarot Mystic Meditation Definition for Gay Men so that is if you would like to get that that's the Sun Tarot and that's the trademark from Schiffer. Okay, and the backings are the same as the. I think it's rather magnificent. That is beautiful. So let's begin. We've got the rider, and they're very, very vibrant. With that black background, they're very vibrant. It feels like party time, if you ask me. and there you go um, you've got it's really sm small card and you've got the nine of hearts it would have been great fun if they had put the nine in there because otherwise you <laughs> if you are learning then you will start counting the the the, the hearts and then we have the clover they have no names on them so this will uh, teach you to really know your cards clover the six of diamonds just move the computer away and then we can get everything on and then we can see I'll try to make a ground to blow out of it And then we have the ship, the boat, with the ten of clubs, that's abundance. Then we have the house. Like I said, we have the house, but before I go on, they're not gilded, and the stock is very, very sturdy. It's lovely because it's nice for shoveling and you have to look very closely to the cheeks of the queens and the kings and the jacks and they have got another sign on their forehead but the, on the queen uh, of the, the king of uh, hearts 
He's got hearts on his right hand cheek. He's also got the French lily on his forehead. I don't know if you can see that. So that's the king of hearts, the house. And then we have the tree. And that is the uh, two, four, six, seven, the seven of hearts. And all the hearts are different colors, like the chakra, the colors of the chakra. Then the six, we have the, uh, I don't know whether you can see it, is the king of wands, and that is the clouds. Clouds. I was hesitating with the clouds because the clouds are, are there and are all over the place but you also see an archway with a man standing here I don't know whether you can see it because of they're glossy there you go one two three four five six I'll try to make three rows the grand tableau is four rows Sorry about that, I'm trying to make enough room. And then we have the Queen of Clubs. And the Queen of Clubs is seven in Lenormand. And that is the snake. There you are, green snake. You see lots more in the pictures. Here you also see um, the sun or the moon. The sun setting or the sun rising, I think they're beautiful. They're very, very colourful. Also, they feel very spiritual. And then you've got the coffin, the ten of diamonds. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight. The last one, last one. And this is the Queen of Swords. I don't know if you can see it. She looks more like a negative than a photo. The Queen of Swords. And it does say whether they're Jack or Queen. And this is the Jack of Diamonds. Some are more clear than others. In, and that, the, the, that's the scythe. You can see the scythe. And the <clears throat> queen of, sorry, I, I forgot to say that, that's the bunch of flowers. That's quite easy to see. Then we have the whips. And usually they are depicted with a whip and a broom. Or they used to hit, hit you with at school <laughs> the cane and here you've got hands everywhere the hands everywhere and it looks like a, a knight's uh, helmet so you have to look very very closely it looks more like swords but it's supposed to be whips number 11 and that is the jack of clubs And I also, in, in the Jack's face is bigger than um, uh, the Queen and King. And then we have the birds. I think these cards are lovely in the, in that uh, in the way that they are dark, but they're a bit spooky, and you can wear, use them use them for um, um, pagan or uh, Wiccan feasts. Or Halloween, the birds, number 12, and that's the seven of diamonds. Then we have Jack of Spades and the child, number 13. Balloons, instead of toys. Then we have 
number 14 and that's the nine of wands and that is the fox I, these cards are really artistic because they intertwine with other colors and shadows then we have the bear and that is the ten of clubs the ten of clubs the bear you can see the bear there and it looks like a polar bear then we have the six of hearts and that is six of hearts is number 16 and that looks like a ship but it isn't i think that is the star that's the star i'm just going to move away the book um, so that i can do this grand tableau and then you can see what it looks like for those people that do not know then we've got the stalk number 17 and that is the queen of hearts on the cheek on the right hand cheek you can see the heart the stalks then we have the dog and the dog is ten of hearts You'll have to get to know these cards and make them your own um, because like every deck it has something unique. Then we have the tower and that is number 19, the six of spades. Sorry. Then we have the garden and the garden is the eight of spades very beautiful colors really i'm absolutely gobsmacked with the colors and um, then we've got 21 you know, that's the mountain i'm sorry i'm taking a little bit long because they're new for me as well and they're very modern but you can see so much more in these cards like here yeah you know, you, your imagination goes it's like an angel's body here and the wings going out I'll just let you have a look you see what i mean i hope you do it's like the heavens are breaking open don't make mountains out of molehills don't see problems where they're not and then we've got the queen of diamonds and the queen of diamonds that is the crossroads the crossroads then we've got the mice number 23 and that's the seven of clubs then we've got the hearts and that is jack of hearts jack of hearts and you can see the j there once you've got them in your own hands just in the corner corner there and there and there and then we've got this ring then we've got the ring and that's the ace of clubs and i made a mistake because i always call them clover <laughs> and then i've got the book and that is the ten no the book is the ten of diamonds this card of uh, this deck is extended with two men and two women i think i'm looking forward to find out sorry i made a mistake with the coffin it's the nine of diamonds this is the ten of diamonds um then we have the letter we have the book then we have the letter and that's the seven of spades now i've got to move them over again 
I'll just stop it so I make more room. Sorry. Now we've got the man, number 28, and that's the Ace of Hearts. I'll put him down here. I hope you can see him still. No, you can't. So move everything over. Well, I'll do it whilst I, you are watching. You know, I don't like people thinking I'm uh, cheating. I never do. Once I shed the cards, I always choose the cards that come out. Then we've got the lady. And that's the ace of spade, uh, spades. Come on, Charlotte, you've been doing this for years. And then we've got the king of spades. And that's the lily. Looks more like an iris than a lily. And then we have um, the sun. I love playing with cards and these give me one of my favorites because they're so beautiful um psychedelic that's what's coming out of my head okay then we have the moon and that is the eight of hearts then we have the key you'll have to look at it very carefully get to know your cards get to feel the energy and that is the Eight of Diamonds. Of course, they leave out one, two, um, five. Then we have the fish. And that is the King of Diamonds. Then we have the anchor. That looks eerie. And that is the Nine of Spades. Then we have the Cross. And that is the Six of Clubs. And that is what a Grand Tableau looks like. Then you take another lemon deck and then you lay the cards that come out and that's how you start reading all every way, <laughs> loads of ways. Too long to go into it, but this is the other lady, so I'll just show them separately. It's the same picture, but a different colour and a different sign okay here she's the queen of hearts and there she's the queen of spades a uh, club clubs no spades this this is really uh testing me whether i know the cards or not <laughs> because um that is the king of spades and the king of hearts and this is this is the traditional one okay but they've just got different colors so if you have um, a querent that is has a gay relationship then you can use the the pink as the female side and blue as the boy side and the same for the um lady okay so there we go. So this this is a good deck to read for people um, that ask a question about their partner if they are from the same sex. So that is absolutely awesome. I really love this deck, but it is a, a deck that um, anybody can use. But it will take, if you start learning uh, Lenormand, then take a deck that is really 
even without the cartomancy, I would say. Start learning the Linnemann first, then get an easy dig <coughs> with cartomancy, and then you can recognize it. But the pictures are very small, so um, take your time when you take them out of the box to have a really good look, because like in the in the clouds, you have a man standing there with an archway. Perhaps you can see something about it, and you've got it in a lot of, like with the bear, you've got shadows as well. These, and like the star, you've got more stars. Um, you've got the, the snake here, and you've got water, and um, you've got a walkway here. At least that's the way I see it. You've also got water and like the sunset or uh, sun rising or the spotlight you might make something else out of it but the the cards have so much detail and like the coffin it has also figurines it looks like there's somebody standing there with a mask on or a statue So, like I said, these cards are great to use for Halloween. You've got lots of shadow, um, because they're dark as well. And like the whip, the whip has hands all over the place, and it looks like um, a skull behind the whip. So, before I like to, before I go, I would like to say, the man. The king, the man, is the king, ace of hearts. That's the traditional one. And the lady is the spades. That's the traditional one. Okay, now I went back into the book um, because this is a new deck for me as well. And for me, the double cards are fairly new. So there you go. That's the queen of spades. And the Queen of Hearts is the second one, and the uh, King of Spades is the second one, and those are the new ones. And there is a separate page on them, okay? Uh, like the man, the traditional man is here, and the Queen is separate, and then you've got the extra man and woman cards, and it goes into what they represent and how to use them and then that is I thought they might have put the woman next to here but it's less confusing to do it this way so that is great that's really great for people that start using expend decks decks okay sorry for my English sometimes and um, that is the books and that's the cards my advice is have a look at them uh, enjoy them before you start initiating them, uh, have a real good feel of them, all right? Enjoy them. That's the emblem of red feather. And I'm going to leave it like this. Just a little word for beginners. Take out the Queen of Hearts and the Ace of Spades, the Ace of uh, the Queen, that is the woman, sorry, is the Ace of Hearts and the Ace of Spades. Take them out if you're a learner and a beginner with this deck um, and you know, I hope you will enjoy it and of course I'm going to shake them because I didn't do that I, so I just want because I wanted to leave them in their numerical order and they shake really well as the stock is really solid and let's see whether you can shake them this way some people find it difficult they uh, do bend a little bit, not too much, so they will be kept nice and straight. Okay, um, this is just a reading, just to show how I do my uh, full card reading, past, present and future, and a clarifier. And that's the way I do it. You can always t also take the bottom of the deck um, as an extra. Go and have a look and scout around in the book and enjoy your version and your layouts.
um, as the way you do it. Listen to your intuition. These cards are very good for intuition as you literally see more and more, the more that you will use them. Take care, thank you for watching and please share and like. I'll leave all the details in the description box and uh, where you can get them, how much they are, etc, etc. Take care, be blessed.